What's up chicas? Welcome back to my channel. If you're tuning in for the first time, I have to say welcome to my channel. I'm Frances Michelle and I'm super excited that you're here. So if you clicked on this video, it's because you would like to see how I achieved this look using the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe palette, which I've been obsessing over ever since I bought it. Like it's my go-to palette right now for simple makeup and for a glam out makeup. So I'm really excited because I haven't done a glam out look on my channel in a hot minute and I think it was way overdue. So guys, um, if you want to know a little bit more about who I am, you can just always follow me on my social sites. Um, you can follow me on Instagram. You can follow me on Snapchat. That is where you will find me most of the time. I don't know how to work Twitter, but I'll put Twitter right there also. And if you guys want to be part of my girlfriends here on YouTube, all you have to do is hit that subscribe button right over there before we jump to the video. Or you can do it after. It'll, all, you know, as long as you do it, it's all good. <laughs> Well, anyways, my loves, um, I'm not going to make a long introduction. If you guys want to see how I achieved this makeup look using the Murphy and Jaclyn Hill palette right here, that it's all dirty, but it's my baby, all you have to do is grab a snack and come join. Okay, guys, so we are starting on clean face. I already went and did my brows. So for this look, I want to go ahead and place two tapes um, in a diagonal shape just to make sure that we're getting this look exactly up to where we want it. Make it a little bit more sharp. So we're going in with that uh, second color. It's like a, I would say like a burnt orange color. And I love it for um, transition color, just perfect. So I'm packing this on onto my crease and working my way up as usual. And I did that a couple of times, so just cut it. Now I'm going with that burnt, um, I'm sorry, that more like a dark orange color, which they had names or at least numbers. Um, and I'm just packing that onto that um, hollow part of my crease. I have a little bump. So I'm just, I'm not going all the way up as I did my first color for transition. I'm just doing it a little bit uh, closer to the lid actually. And I did this again a couple of times. I packed on a lot of color, guys. So now we're going in with that teal color in the bottom. There's two, there's a shimmer and then there's a matte one. I just wanted to make this teal color a little more intensified. So I went and go ahead and use first the matte one. And the matte one kind of just makes it um, pretty much darker, I would say. So I just packed it on my lid. Um, I did it a couple of times actually. Then I went in with that same color, the second color for my crease, and I grabbed the crease brush from Murphy, which is absolutely amazing, guys. I highly recommend it. And I just blended that crease color with the lid color just to make sure that there was, there was no harsh lines between them. So I went and go ahead and now with the metallic or shimmery color, I think it's a shimmery color, I picked it up. And I think I did it like three times actually, guys. Um, I just packed on, packed on, packed on, and kept packing on the color. And then of course, always making sure that I blend those two colors together to make it look more even and make it look more cute. So now we're moving on to the liquid liner. That's it, guys, by the way. That is all I did on the eyes. That's it, as you can see. Just three, four colors. Just blend them up together very easily. Then uh, these, the tape, um, method concept helps a lot when you're doing a wing liner so i just pretty much drew the line upwards very close to the uh tape and then i just pretty much brought it in and closed it and just filled it in all the way to my uh inner corner of my eye so that's just what i'm doing here i wish i could have brought you guys a little bit closer but you learn from your mistakes next time i'll do it then of course we're moving on to lashes because this is a more dramatic look that we're doing and i am using house of lashes I think I want to say um, they are Siren, I think. I will, I will definitely look at the packaging and I will leave it down below because I'm obsessed with these lashes, guys. They are just so cute and the band is so thin. So here I'm just making sure that I'm putting on my lashes correctly and then I like to go on top of the lashes, on top of the lash line, I like to go in a little bit more with the liquid liner and intensify a little bit my lid color. This is optional, guys. So I'm going to remove the tape and as you can see, it's just that sharp look that I wanted to go for. Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead and do the same thing to the other eye and then I'll come back. So now that my both eyes are done, 
I move on to the face. This is usual, you guys seen this before many times on my channel. I'm going to prep my face with the V6 Prep Priming Spray by Urban Decay. I love this priming spray guys, like amazing. Then for uh, primer, I am at the moment, at the moment, <laughs> at the moment obsessed with the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores. Literally, bye bye pores, bye bye. <laughs> so I'm just pretty much um, massaging this onto my face, especially where I have a lot of pores. Then this is an additional step, but I have very dark under eyes. I'm using the Nip and Fab uh, color corrector in the Salmon just to cancel out my dark under eyes, which are like. Crazy. And now I'm going in with my all-time favorite at the moment foundation. It's the LA Girl uh, HD Coverage Foundation. Oh my god, I'm obsessed guys. Literally obsessed. So I'm just buffing it in and I'm applying a little bit more, you'll see. And then after that, after I buff all my foundation in, I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. And you already know where to apply the concealer and how much I go to town on this baby. Like... I've got no shame in my game when it comes to concealer. I'm using a beauty blender this time just because I want to make sure that everything is well blended. And I'm using, I think this is the pure um, beauty blender actually. Pretty cool. I think I haven't bought a beauty blender like forever. I've used real techniques and now I'm using the pure one and I'm obsessed honestly. There's options. Guys. So I'm just blending everywhere I apply the concealer just making sure that um, everything is well blended and everything looks good Now to set that under eye, I'm going with the Nip and, Nip and Fab contour palette And I am using that yellow banana color to cancel out any darkness and brighten the under eye area I love using a banana color for my under eyes. I just feel like it brightens them a lot more So after I do that I'm going to go ahead and finish the bottom part of my eyes. Just think I got a lot of powder um, in there. So just in case I get any fallouts, I can remove it. So I'm using the two colors that I use as my transition and my crease color. And I'm just packing that on onto my bottom lashes. I'm just making sure that it looks a little bit more intensified and a little bit more smoked out. And then I'm grabbing a dark brown color. I didn't show it here, but I did grab a dark brown color and a liner um, brush and I just kind of made it darker just to make sure that it looked a little more on the dramatic side Okay, now I'm setting my face with the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder I like to go in and remove any um, fallouts with that under my eyes And then I like to grab a bigger brush and I just pack that on my face guys Pack it on Set it girl, set it <laughs> All right, so moving on to the Nip and Fab Contour Palette. I'm using those two colors at the bottom to bring warmth and definition to my face. And I am just pretty much sculpting and just contouring my face. But at the same time, I like to do a little bit overboard just to make sure that I look a little bronze rather than just straight out contour. So I just like to do it as you normally would, guys. Honestly, there's nothing different. I just don't contour my nose. I just pretty much pass the whole brush on my nose and that's it and of course the temples of my face and my huge forehead we have to cover that <laughs> i think i do it in no i don't do it here all right so then i'm just bringing a little pop of color to my cheeks and i'm using the flower beauty uh blush and this is a beautiful beautiful like i would say very light coral color i am obsessed with it guys honestly speaking i think it's 02 now i'm going ham I'm going savage actually when it comes to highlight. I'm using Ofra Rodeo Drive and then I am topping it off with my Pixie Dust which is Artist, uh, Artist Couture Illuminati um, highlight which is oh, to the next level. And then I'm just applying it of course the high points of the face, the bridge of my nose and the cupid's bow. Now I'm using this Nip and Fab uh, liquid uh, lipstick that I obsess about. I forget I have it. It's the perfect tone brown. I love it. And guys, here is the look. I really hope you enjoyed the tutorial and I hope it's easy and I hope you can recreate it. Thank you guys for watching. Sometimes you think about all the ways I'm making you smile. I know I am what you need and boy, you're just my type. Deep down, I know you want it. You want to take a leap and jump in. Uh, uh, oh. We're going to fall in love. You get Enjoy the tutorial. I really hope that um, you can recreate the look 
just tag me. I would love to see it, honestly. Like, um, I don't think it was a very hard look to do. Um, it's, it looks harder than what it was. Anyways, guys, so if you really like this tutorial and you guys want to see more tutorials on my channel, you guys let me know always by giving this video a thumbs up. Let me know what you thought of the, of the tutorial down on the comment section below. And all my social media sites are down below if you guys want to get me a follow and become friends. And I will appreciate it because I love making new friends always. Like, it's so much fun. Especially you guys that we share the same thing. Really fun. <laughs> so thank you guys for sticking till the end. Best of this. I'll see you ladies on my next videos. La quiero. Bye.